Hey everyone, uh, it's David with uh, Hostess Taxidermy, and um, today it's a different project. Uh, I'm not working on a bird, so what I'm doing is actually building a bigger incubator for uh, my eggs, and uh, this is what I got. I'm, I'm building it out of a old, uh, s like dorm size uh, incubator, so or refrigerator. So uh, this is what I got so far. I, I tore the the uh, guts out of it um, and uh, this is what I have so far uh, plywood uh, piece down here and I had just mounted this uh, this fan and uh, run it through uh, this hole back 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 here so um, this this is gonna help uh, circulate the air uh, blowing on the eggs and up in this part I'm going to mount uh, the heating elements um, and uh, drill, I'm gonna like drill holes through here so the air will blow back through and uh, heat back up and everything just to keep the air circulating. But um, yeah, this is, uh, this is what I'm uh, working on today and uh, I'll show y'all, uh, well my next step is actually mounting the uh, heating elements and hooking it up to the um, thermostat that uh, I'll be mounting into this, but uh, stay tuned. Okay, uh, this is what I have so far. Um, this is, I, I moved it into the shop. Uh, it's taken up a whole lot more room than I expected, but hey, uh, gotta do what you gotta do. Um, like I said, uh, I have it running now and I actually have eggs in it. Um, this is, this is uh, uh, what I have. All right. Um, the fans blowing. Here, let me t let me actually turn that off. Uh, fans blowing right here. Um, these here are uh, insulators, and it's connected to uh, some heat strips that I have. Um, just wired it up, set it in there. Uh, this here is I have water in it, and uh, as you can see, I have the the holes drilled um, all through there. And uh, this is the uh, lower section of it. One second, let me move a bucket. I'm tanning a hide. Sorry. Uh, and this is this is what I have on the inside. Um, uh, I have uh, almost a thousand quail eggs sitting right there. Uh, I, I rotate them daily, um, and then I have uh, duck and, and turkey eggs uh, below, and I, I turn those uh, as well. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, I have a the thermostat is uh, probe is right there mounted in there, and uh, then I have the thermostat mounted on the side. Um, right now it's saying it's 96 degrees in there. Um, basically all I'm doing is just running everything uh, through there. Uh, so hopefully uh, it's really not that hard to build one. Um, like I said, I needed to build a bigger one. And my ducks like to be very loud. Uh, yeah, so uh, like I said, I needed to build a bigger one. Uh, I got this for free. Uh, the heating elements I got for free. Um, the only thing I bought was, uh, the, uh, thermostat and the insulators, uh, that went inside of the, uh, uh, to up here, uh, for the heat strips. But, um, yeah, uh, the, I think I spent maybe 50 bucks on the, uh, thermostat, but... What I did is, in my other incubator, I had uh, I had that thermostat in there, so what I just used that and used it for this one. Works great. Um, in about two weeks, I think. I have to check the dates on the eggs, but uh, in about two weeks, I should have some mallards uh, hatching. And about, well, no, in about a week, uh, I should have mallards hatching, and then... Uh, the quails about two more weeks, turkeys um, three more weeks, and then I have more mallards, and I'm going to actually set uh, some more mallard eggs 
uh, tonight. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I hope uh, this helps uh, with anybody who's interested in making their own incubator. Um, and uh, it, it's very simple to do. Um, you just need to know heating and cooling. Oh, uh, as for cooling, um, I put these vent holes in here too. Um, the incubator was running a little hot, but the only problem is, is it wasn't being, wasn't able to cool down. Uh, so I put these, these vent holes in the lower section so that, uh, that air can, uh, escape. And also it helps circulate, uh, fresh air into the incubator and things like that. Um, I took a, a more accurate temperature reading and it was reading right at 99 and a half. Uh, which is perfect temperature for uh, uh, forced air incubators and uh, if you don't put a fan in there um, in fact just put a fan in there uh, it, it, it will save you a whole lot of heartache and and increase your hatchability rates uh, with your eggs but um, until next time I hope this helps I'm David with uh, Hoss's taxidermy. I probably should change that it because I do a little bit of everything, um, like Hoss's project corner or something like that. But uh, subscribe below, or if you're on my channel up above. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a, a good day. Bye.